Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Dominique Pernay's course on celestial navigation. My name is John Pinto. I'm an amateur astronomer and mathematician, and I will be presenting Dominique's course to you. In today's episode, we are going to dive right into the site reduction tables and pull out our first piece of data that's going to help us determine where we are on the Earth, which is the azimuth angle Z and the sun's bearing angle ZN. As I've said before, we are presenting the course as based on Dominique's books, uh, Celestial Navigation and the accompanying exercise book. You can find out where to order these at marinenavigationbooks.com. And there you'll find um, not only a PDF copy of the exercise book if you want it, um, but you can also uh, download this slide deck that this course is based on. So let's get right into it. Uh, the site reduction tables help us find something called ZN, the direction of our celestial objects from north, uh, from where we are on our boat. Um, <clears throat> these uh, angle Z is the angle of the sun, which is the object we're going to work with for now, uh, within the spherical triangle that we studied last week. Um, that's that triangle that goes from the boat to the closest pole to the boat, to the sun's GP and back to the boat. Um, the sun's bearing ZN is then calculated using one of these four formulas. Now you don't have to memorize it because these formulas, which um, come from the sun's GP and your assumed position for the boat, which give you LHA and boat hemisphere, are reproduced on each page of the site reduction tables. So if you're in a northern latitude and your LHA is greater than 180, so that means it's a morning site of some kind. Your ZN will just be Z. And if your LHA is less than 180 degrees, which means it's some form of an afternoon site, uh, the ZN will be 360 minus Z. In the southern latitude, uh, we, it's a little bit different. Uh, the LHA greater than 180, um, I guess, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, again, you'll be um, in a, a morning site. Uh, the ZN is 180 minus Z, and if the LHA is less than 180, it's an afternoon site, and the ZN is 180 plus Z. And basically, you'll find yourself having a little table like this, where you'll have, if you're in a northern latitude, you may be using that 360 number, and if you're a southern latitude, you're definitely going to be using that 180 number. And you record the Z, and whether you're plus or minus it, and you calculate your ZN. So here's a picture of that uh, morning, uh, morning site, yes, um, where the LHA, as you can see, um, is greater than 180 degrees. Uh, your boat's up here, it's, the sun's over here, it's in the morning. This is the spherical triangle we're talking about. That is what Z measures for you. It's the angle within the triangle from your boat to your closest pole, now if you're in the northern hemisphere, the closest pole is the northern hemisphere, from that side to the side where the sun is. And so you can see as a morning site, Zn is just Z. Zn is the angle from the north, north pole. And that's the angle that your compass would, um, would measure. Okay, and that's summarized here. If instead it's an afternoon site, um, here's the again the um, spherical triangle. So here's your boat going up to the northern hemisphere or the north pole, going down to where the sun is, and then back to your boat. So that's the triangle. Again, Z is going to measure the angle from your uh, pole within uh, the triangle. So that's going here. But your ZN is this, and that tells you why in the northern hemisphere, uh, again, your LHA is less than 180, so it's this little angle right here, an afternoon site. So to get your ZN, you have to take 360 minus the Z to get your ZN, okay? Let's talk about the southern hemisphere. If you happen to be uh, sailing down in uh, Australia or in uh, the Polynesian Islands, um, this is uh, slightly different, but let's take a look at what this looks like. And we'll see where how these formulas work. Okay, So again, let's talk about uh, a morning site. That would be over here. 
So your boat is over here, and the sun's up here. Uh, it's, the sun's just coming up over the horizon. And you site reduction table is again going to give you this Z angle within the triangle. So here's your boat. The closest pole is South Pole now. Sun's up here, going back to your boat. So that's the triangle. This is your Z. But what you really want is ZM, so that it matches your compass. Compass always measures from north. So this ZN is going to be 180, which would be this angle here, this big old angle. Subtracting Z off of it gives you ZM. So that's why in the morning it's 180 minus Z. We're going to take over here where we have an afternoon site. Again, the sun's over to your west. And LHA is this little angle here. And again, here's our spherical triangle from your boat to the closest pole, which is the south pole now, back to the sun and back to your boat. So again, site reduction tables are going to give you this little angle here, Z, within the spherical triangle. What you really want in this kind of site is you want the angle from north, which is this big old site here. So in order to get that big, big old angle, um, you need to take 180 plus Z to give you your angle, and that's where that formula comes from. So it's all pretty straightforward once you kind of have these pictures in your mind. And if you forget what those uh, formulas are, as I said before, the formulas are right here at the type of the site reduction tables and at the bottom, depending on whether your boat is in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. Okay? And this is what a site reduction table looks like. And you look it up by looking up the declination of your object, only the degree portion. So, um, you know, 20 degrees declination, 21 degrees declination, 22 degrees declination. And we'll get into, you know, how you handle the minutes uh, in a future episode. But for right now, you just take the degrees of the declination and then you take your LHA. And there's two sides to this. So it goes from zero to uh, a number over here and it goes from 360 down over here. And the other thing you need to be concerned about is whether you are in the same hemisphere as the GP of the object that you're looking at with its declination. So same name means that your boat's latitude, say, is in the northern hemisphere and the sun's in the northern hemisphere, its declination. Or your boat's in the southern hemisphere and the GP of the object, in our case the sun, is in the southern hemisphere. So those would be examples of same name latitudes. So once you have those pieces of information, you can go into the tables, find your declination, find your LHA, find out where they cross, and that gives you your Z. As you can see, in every column there's a Z. So again, declination and latitude, same name, mean the sun and boat are on the same side of the equator, both in the same hemisphere, the GP, and the boat's latitude are in the same hemisphere. You look up your latitude page, you look up you find the column with your declination of your object, you find your LHA, you cross the two together, and you get a Z. Okay. If you're in uh, opposite hemispheres, so your boat's in the north, the GP's in the south, or your latitude is in, or your boat's in the south and the GP's in the north, that would be a contrary name. Same concept, you just need to go find that section of the site reduction tables. Um, find your latitude page, look up your declination, look up your LHA, where they cross, gives you your Z. Now, I didn't mention this at the beginning of the episode, but you will need the exercise book to do these examples because you need to be able to look up the, um, site, reduction, uh, the site reduction tables to get the uh, answers. So, here's an example. Boats at latitude 40 degrees north. Yeah, you calculate an LHA of 35 degrees, and the sun's declination is 22 degrees north. Now, always good when you're doing any of these calculations to have some idea of what kind of answer you should be getting so that it sort of makes sense. Uh, it's very easy to make a, a mistake. You look up the wrong latitude. You look up the wrong contrary same name. You look in the wrong column. You look at the wrong row. And you get a, a, a nonsense number for Z. So, good thing to always do is to give yourself just a, you know, you know back of the envelope estimation of what this, what's going on. So, first thing you need to do is think. 
right? What season are we in? So from the sun's declination, you should be able to figure out what season you're in. Next thing, what time is it? What time are, is it in the, is it a morning site or is it an afternoon site? And how far away are you from, from noon? Okay, that'll give you your AM if you're before, before noon or your time in the afternoon. And that you're gonna get from looking at the LHA. That LHA should give you some clue as to what time this site was taken. And then from all that information, estimate a bearing on the sun, right? Where, about where should ZN be in relation to uh, north? What would the compass reading be? Now, of course, if you're actually taking a site, you can actually take your compass out and give, get a, you know, a fairly good idea where the sun is. Good thing to record so that you, when you finally figure out your ZN, you say, okay, that makes sense. And then finally, calculate the bearing ZN of the sun. Okay, so this is a good time to pause the video, take out your exercise book, and go look this information up, and come back with an answer. Okay, I assume you've paused the video, you've done the exercise, the example, and let's see if you come anywhere close to uh, what uh, the right answer is. Here's the answer. It's summer. Why is it summer? Because of the declination of the sun. It's almost close to its highest value, it must be summer. Well, summer in the Northern Hemisphere, I should say, because our boat's in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, technically, uh, if you were doing this exercise and you uh, happen to uh, you know, figure out, oh, when it's north, uh, down here in Australia, it's winter, but it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, where the boat is. Uh, it's an afternoon site. How do we know that? Well, the LHA is less than 180, so it's got to be uh, afternoon. And how far into the afternoon? Well, we said it was 35 degrees LHA. Sun moves at about 15 degrees per hour. So, you know, it's about two hours, 20 minutes or so. So it's around 1422 uh, local, local time. Bearing of the sun, therefore, afternoon sight, a little after noon. Uh, so it's somewhere in the southwest. So you remember your compass rows. Southwest is somewhere between 180 and 270 degrees. So yeah, somewhere around, somewhere, somewhere between there. Okay. So you would go into the site reduction tables. You look up that information, LHA, declination, uh, latitude, and you've come up with that the azimuth Z in that table comes out at 111 degrees. We're in same name, it's on this page, A3-7, if you could find it. You look at your calculation, you say, oh, afternoon site, uh, ZN, therefore, in the Northern Hemisphere, we're both same, same, um, same hemisphere. You have to take 360 minus Z to get ZN, 249 degrees. Hey, that's between 180 and 270, just about right, Southwest. Congratulations. Let's try another exercise. Again, we're in the Northern Hemisphere. Now your boat's at latitude 49 degrees. LHA is 330 degrees. And the sun's declination is 17 degrees south. Again, come up with an estimate. What season are we in? Is it a morning or is it an afternoon site? What's an estimated bearing of the sun? Just give it a, a guess. And look it up, calculate, and give me the uh, Zn of the sun. We're in the winter. Why are we in the winter? Because declination is 17 degrees south. We're pretty close to, uh, you know, winter solstice. Um, so, the, how do we know it's a morning site? Because the LHA is greater than 180 degrees. How do we know it's around 10 o'clock? Well, it was 30 degrees from uh, um, 360. Right, when it would be due south. So um, we're a little bit before um, noon. 30 degrees at 15 degrees per hour gives about two hours before noon. So that's how you get 10, 10 o'clock. So morning site, a couple hours before noon. Sun's not quite south yet. So bearing of the sun should be south to east if we're in the northern hemisphere. If you look it up in the table, the azimuth Z come out to 150 degrees when you look it up. Now you have to use contrary name because the sun's in the south, boat's in the north, so contrary name table. 
uh, you find the latitude table, you find the contrary name table, and then you look up your LHA and your declination. And if, again, if you couldn't find it, it was on page A3-14 in the exercise book. And when you do the calculation, you find out that Zn is 150. Next week, we will continue with the site reduction tables and we'll figure out what our sun's height should be, hc, calculated height, above the horizon, but without doing any interpolation for uh, minutes and seconds. Uh, I should say minutes and tenths of, of minutes of uh, declination. We'll get to that, but let's start simple and just do hc without any kind of interpolation. All right, we'll see you next week, and I hope you enjoy uh, doing the, those. Hope you enjoyed doing those exercises. Take care. See you next week.